weeds in the sidewalk, there's a fix for that. First though, we have to clean them out, and that includes any dirt or debris in the crack. So there are two types of spaces you'll find in cement. A space like this, which is put here to encourage cracks to form here instead of wherever. And the larger gaps here are expansion joints. Unlike the other joints, which are used to encourage cracks, these are here to discourage the greater slab from cracking. Inside is a piece of wood that will allow the cement to expand and contract. Over here though, over time, the wood has eroded away. That's okay. There's an easy fix for that too. I have this foam backer rod. It can very easily be inserted. It allows the slab to expand and contract and I'll be able to epoxy over it to prevent the weeds from growing. You do want to make sure that it's in there tightly. Once covered with epoxy, the foam will want to float to the top and that's just going to be a mess. This is the epoxy I'll be using. It's a self-leveling type. It comes in gray and brown. I'm using gray over here. This comes in smaller containers as well, but I have a lot of epoxying to do. I want to put it in fairly evenly, but it's not critical because it's self-leveling. It'll find its own level and ultimately look pretty smooth when you're done. After it's filled, it's a good idea to cover it up. This will minimize the amount of dirt and debris that blows into it while it's still wet and being a sidewalk, if someone happens to walk by, we certainly don't want them to step in it. And because the epoxy is very thin, it'll just spill out over the side of something like this. So we're just going to use a rock or a stick or something like that to block up the hole. This will keep the epoxy contained for a day or two while it dries. And here's what it looks like after it's had a few days to dry. It's a big difference over the gaps that were there before. It'll block the weeds and I think it looks a lot nicer. This job is done. Oh man, just stepped in the wet epoxy.